it's Lisa, it's Philo's mom, and today is Friday, March 2nd. Can you believe it's already March? Yeah! <laughs> anyway, I went out of town yesterday to check out the Hobby Lobby sale, but while I was there, I thought I would see how their Dollar Tree was, and it was okay. I didn't really find, oh, I found a few things um, new and a few things old that I enjoy, so I went in and picked them up. And I thought I would go ahead and show you. Now, yes, I will be going to my Dollar Tree as well here in my little town because all Dollar Trees are different. What you find at one, you may not find at another Dollar Tree, even if it's a huge Dollar Tree or a little small Dollar Tree, like mine. Uh, you can find different items. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? I picked up this pack of eight note cards with envelopes. I haven't seen these at hauled or anything. Now they may just be old and they're blank on the inside. See here they are. And look at that. It's got the old time banana seat bicycle. Always wanted those as a kid, but I never got one. Yeah. <laughs> I got some mini writing tablets. I have been looking for these. I didn't necessarily want this green color. I wanted the yellow or the um, pink. But the green was the only color I could find. So I went in and picked them up. And you get a five pack? Yeah, you get a five pack. I have some projects I'm going to do with those. Then I found these loot bags or treat bags. This one is in the stars and you get 20 pack and this one is in the chevrons i thought these would make great springtime uh loaded envelopes or loaded pockets what are those called loaded bag treat things yeah the things we make yeah <laughs> i've been needing some sequins now i checked out the sequins at hobby lobby they were not on clearance, and I wasn't going to spend the money that they wanted me to spend just for sequins. So I just went and picked up the old standard Dollar Tree sequins. I got the package of the gold tones, the browns and golds. I got the package of the pinks and purples. And I got the package of the blues. Now they do have these at my Dollar Tree, but I just went in and picked them up there. I did, however, find... The new butterfly stickers. And I was waiting for these patiently at my little Dollar Tree, but they weren't there yet last week. Now, they may be there this week. No, I wasn't there last week, the week before. They might be there this week. But I just picked up the two different designs that they had. Well, they're not designs, different colors. And actually, yeah, they are a little bit different in color. And then this one here, a little bit different. So I just picked those up. I went in and picked up another one of these sparkle stickers in the food and sweet treat type stickers. My Dollar Tree did have these, but I think they're all gone now. Like these, these are all gone. I wanted one more package of the um, stickers they're kind of like a, they resemble metal, but they're not metal. They're, they're just stickers. But I wanted one more package of the hearts, so I picked that up. Now, my Dollar Tree had the Hello Collection um, with the desk pads and the journals and stuff, but they did not have the stickers to go with it. This Dollar Tree only had one package of the stickers, but I went in and picked them up. Look at that elephant. Isn't that so cool? I love it. I love the elephant. So I picked it up. I love these gel pens, but my Dollar Tree never carries fancy gel pens, colored gel pens, sparkle gel pens, any of that until school season. But this one had them. So I picked up these, and these are the, I think they're the sparkle type ones, the ones that's got the sparkle, and then these right here. Now these do not have the sparkle in them. Picked up a package of blue and white striped straws. I am bound and determined to learn to make a rosette. 
I know, can't guarantee that. <laughs> <coughs> this Dollar Tree had all the fragrance sachets, and I've been wanting to try the rose sachet. I've tried the amber and another one, but mine never had the white rose. So I went in and picked up the white rose sachets, and you get a two-pack. And I will just kind of snip a little bit out of the corners and like put it in my sock drawer, hang one in my closet, you know, just stick it away in an inconspicuous space. And this is very strong. My bag smelled like it. <laughs> Picked up a squeegee to put in my car because eventually we're going to start getting dew on our windows rather than frost. And instead of using my wipers, you know, all the time, because the wipers leave that round streak, you know, if your windows are dirty or whatever. So you still have that arch. But if I use a squeegee, I learned it doesn't do that. And my windows get a free clean with the dew. Yeah. So there you go. There's a little tip for you. Keep a squeegee and use that. <laughs> Needed some more baby wipes in the bathroom, so I just picked up um, some Huggies. And how many do you get in here? Probably not very much. Only 32, but that's okay. I like Huggies. Then, a long time ago, I had tried this from the Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree doesn't cover it, or carry it. But I really like the Lusty Oil Moisturizer. And it's just a hair lotion. And it eliminates dryness and breakage, softens and shines, and is non-greasy. So I picked up a bottle of this. One bottle of this will last me forever, forever. So between now and by the time I run out, I'll be at a bigger Dollar Tree that carries this. My daughter really, really likes her coconut chips. And so I picked her up two packages of the Coconut Beach Coconut Chips. Then um, I thought she likes bre breakfast biscuits. Like if, you know, she's woke up a little bit late and can't quite make breakfast in the morning or whatever. She'll just grab some breakfast biscuits and on her way out the door. And they, this Dollar Tree did have them. So I went in and picked her up a package of the Mixed Berries. I only picked her up one because I'm not sure she'll like them. Yeah. Now, my Dollar Tree used to carry these cookies, and they don't anymore. I don't know why. But these are one of Twyla's favorite cookies to put in her lunch. And this was a 10-pack instead of an 8-pack. And it is the Sugar Sparkled Sprinkled Coconut Cookies. And each package is its own package. You know, it's got 10 individually wrapped packages. And how many do you get in a package? Hmm. It says eight cookies is a serving, but I think there's only like five per package. So yeah, picked her up those. She will love those. And for myself, I saw these new Cheez-Its. Yes, I did. And they're Cheddar Jack. And it's a four-pack. So I picked up two packages of these. Twilight doesn't care for Cheez-Its. I like the, the Cheez-Its. Especially the different flavors. Then I like Red Bird Mints. The little mints that just dissolve in your mouth. I really like the cinnamon ones. I usually don't see those until around Christmas time, but I did find one package of the birthday cake, and these are really good. Walgreens sells a birthday cake version of their soft mints, and they're just as good as these. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. So if you want to try the birthday cake flavor and your Dollar Tree doesn't have it, maybe look at your Walgreens. Um, it's a, the Nice um, brand. It's called Nice. Then I picked up some more of the Nighttime Sleep Aid. And this is comparable, comparable to Zequil. And it does work. I only take one. And I usually don't take it unless my bedtime, I am not sleepy. You know, if I'm not sleepy, 
excuse me, if I'm not sleepy, I'm wide awake, but I know I had better get to bed, you know, because I can't sleep late, I've got to go to work. <laughs> I will just go ahead and take one of these and probably within a half hour I'm, I'm asleep. So there you go. And I only take one. It's suggested that you take two, but I only need one. Then I found these placemats and I've got something similar to them in my kitchen. But I think what I'm going to do is make like a um, cutting board type thing here in my craft room to kind of try to protect my tablecloths. Now I do use just the cheap clearance tablecloths. You know the vinyl type ones that you can get on clearance after a holiday. I use those um, in my craft room for my tables but you know if I accidentally let my glued gun fall on them or something like that you know next thing you know they're gross and nasty. So I'm going to try to kind of construct something out of these two placemats you know, so that if glue gets on them, something like that, it's not a big deal. But these are just slightly different than the ones I have for my kitchen because the lettering is in colors. The ones I have in my kitchen, the lettering of each type of coffee is in brown. And it's got mocha java Vienna roast, mocha java there, Kona blue, cafe Milano, Kona blue, yeah. So there you go. If you are looking for coffee motif type things for your kitchen, try the Dollar Tree. You'd be surprised what you can find. Then for the very, very last thing, my daughter's going to just love me. The Swanson's Chicken and Dumplings. Now, our Dollar Tree had like one case and I nearly took them off. And then I went to a different Dollar Tree while my hand was recuperating and I picked up even more at theirs. Well, she has long since ate those. She loved them. This one had plenty of the Swanson's chicken and dumplings. And I picked her up six cans. And I really think I'm going to kind of hide them, just give her two at a time. Because <laughs> this girl, she loves these. She could eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, and I give, if I put all six cans in there, she'll have them gone. Just lickety split because she loves them. And I like them too, but I'm not like head over heels crazy for them like she is. <laughs> So everybody, that is it for this Dollar Tree. And like I said, I will go to my normal Dollar Tree just because they're different. And I kind of know the layout better of my Dollar Tree. And I kind of know the regular things that I get there and stuff. And plus, I was an hour away from home. So if I do happen to find some, I didn't even look in their freezer section because I didn't have my insulated bags with me. And I just didn't want to take the chance I would find something I really wanted in the freezer. And, yeah. So, you know, I like to kind of take a look in my Dollar Tree freezer section in case there is something new. But, anyway, that is it, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.